Sagittarius, welcome. Let's get into your messages. This will be for Sagittarius. Any placement, you can switch the energy type of resonates only for the multiple scenarios that will come out in this collective. Sagittarius, read you. Anything you need to know about me is down below. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, what does Sagittarius need to know? And thank you for your support. For Sagittarius, any placement, what's the tea? We got justice. All right. Things working out in your favor. Karma being ditched out where it belongs. The good and the bad. Let's see. Legal matters. Resources. Cause and effect. Weighing things out. Someone taking accountability. Making it right. Libra and Leo energy here with the strength. Overcoming obstacles. Adversities. I feel like someone's running the long run here. Okay. Which means could have been a long time coming. Finding the courage to do what's right. Make something right with you or in their lives here okay strength shows up when there's a hard time okay well when there's a need to be resilient confident courageous and brave let's see what else for sagittarius we got the nine of cups this is about someone being happy fulfilled success on successful happy outcome pisces energy what else for sagittarius we got the six of cups past life connection Got a little history here with somebody or they have it with someone else. Someone's past could have resurfaced, which brings them happiness. Someone wants to be with a person from their past that makes them happy. Could be a past life connection. Could be healing childhood trauma. Okay, nine of cups is I feel being fulfilled after something could have been a challenge because it says happy outcome. Eight of cups is before the nine of cups walking away in order to be happy. Let's see. They could have spent a long time with somebody or you have children could be involved. What else for Sagittarius? Someone had children getting busy here, got pregnant. Okay, we got the King of Swords. Someone could definitely be guarded, called off, shut down, being logical, clear, decisive action, becoming newly single. Someone's stepfather's coming in here to take the lead in the connection and help someone with their kids. This could be someone dating an older man from their past. Or a past life soulmate, which happens to be older, much older. All right. We're going to see. Four wands. A marriage, a celebration, a commitment, a twin flame. Aries energy. Scorpio with the six of cups. Let's see. Yep. Look you me on the radio. <laughs> he said, look, I, look, I got every nigga wishing. Oh, Lord. Mm -mm. What's justice for Sagittarius? Somebody closed off. This probably is King of Swords. It says resistance, guarded, blocking, pride, defensive, wounded warrior. This strength is here. I feel like someone has gone through something, or you have specifically. Justice for Sagittarius. Fears, illusions, limitations. Scorpio got this energy. Anxiety, comfort zone, overthinking, negative outlook. Yes, there's a little Scorpio in his reading. But you don't have to be dealing with one. You can have a Scorpio placement, though. You can. Or they do. Um, Yeah, looks like someone's tired of fighting, tired of things being negative, wanting to get out of their comfort zone, um, fearful of someone cheating, can't trust them. I feel like someone has trust issues. What's this justice? Sag, self care sideways. It's like you can't heal in the same place where you got hurt or betrayed here. Sideways, it says self care. Someone's losing themselves in whatever this is. They're no longer happy, or you're not. Low energy. This is crazy. This say self care. This say self love. Low energy, depleted, cleansing, wanting time alone. I feel like they can't get it someone is clinging recharge retreat they can't even get away from this person retreat is sideways recharge is sideways justice i feel like someone wants a divorce it says self-love creation intentions focus on desires of the heart nine of cups is here self-worth expansion manifesting someone wants a stable commitment not this that's rocky king of wands a man of action a woman could have a choice between two men she could be pregnant by one of them or had a child by one of them 
or maybe your person is just wishy-washy because they have a family with somebody else or you could be this man or masculine energy and you got something else going on behind the scenes um someone could be worried about something happening to them with this low energy and feeling depleted and wanting time alone it's like i want time alone but i also need somebody which could be a bit confusing for whoever's in their lives i see some towels some candles roses spa energy here someone wants to get away they want to have peace okay negative outlook someone could be thinking the worst is about to happen okay they could be wanting some kind of resources here justice legal matters paperwork what is this what strength resilience to get through what overcome what move away from who what strength your spirit guides are guiding you forward assistance divine guidance signs of synchronicities guardianship away from this third party situation you could possibly be regretting why you're already in it interesting so your angels and ancestors spirit guides all of that you may subscribe to but specifically spirit guides are guarding you watching over you pushing you through whatever this is assisting you to get through hard times or a relationship or situationship even a friendship that's not serving giving you strength to move forward i like that excuse me that's deep i don't know what it is but i want to see What's this attached to? Strength. Speaking of attachments, the devil and freedom. The devil in reverse would be freedom. Okay. Addictions, patterns, energy vampire, trauma bond, stuck energy. A situation where you feel stuck, where you feel codependent, where you feel like you need this person um breaking free overcoming obstacles fast change new cycle new direction leap of faith giving you faith giving you hope that you can't overcome whatever this energy is where you feel like you're being drained where you feel like it's not enough where you feel like the worst is here you're being guided to leave this relationship or to have faith have strength to get through whatever it is and yeah and have hope star card i'm feeling to get through whatever this is that you're feeling or experiencing. Aquarius and Capricorn energy. Hmm. What's Nine of Cups for Sagittarius? Higher self. Activation. Awakening and timeline shift. Timeline shift really stands out. You're going through something, Sagittarius. Or your person is. Or if it's a twin, you both are. Interesting. Wow. Remember, light work, transcendence, getting past conflict, a spiritual awakening right here. As I'm clarifying something that I already said, awakening. Same energy. You're going through something, Sagittarius. It says fate. Maybe it's for your highest good. Why would trauma, drama, hurt, pain be for my highest good? To get you away from whatever habits, whatever person, whatever you was doing. Give you a new outlook, a new perspective. Whatever it is, you will overcome it. If you continue to keep faith and have strength. Could be codependency for a lot of you. Or just certain patterns about yourself your behaviors your characteristics your thinking your actions impulsive we are in fire energy your fire sign it could be impulsive at times you just got it a new way forward what's the six of cups which is past childhood six of cups for sagittarius venus romance love beauty creative arts wealth Harmony, attraction, offer, 
this is attached to your love life or and or affection or lack thereof for some of you mm -hmm. but it fell over here about strength and toxicity some of y'all could have had a few a few toxic partners growing up soul ties tapped in soulmate faded partnership past life connection the past returns and we're talking about the past six of cups i did all that shuffling just to end up here let me get a jump of spirit venus change yeah a change in location a change in your actions a change in your momentum and progress some of you could be dealing with a leo why she say leo for eight of wands because eight of wands is such a series Leo is on that suitcase. If you can take a look at the screen for those that are listening, 888. That's abundance. And here is abundance right here. But it's attached to a partnership. Could be a twin with a 5D. Your girl is tap the fuck in if you ain't know. Now you know. Okay. But anyway, some of y'all are got to move out. Move on. Relocation. Move on. Or just change. Why am I experiencing this just a change? I'm not going to argue with God or your spirit guides. You know, whatever is going on is for your highest good. Um, What is going on, spirit? What's change? Some of y'all need to communicate effectively or differently. Remember, light worker, transcendence, getting past conflict, spiritual awakening, inner shift. A lot is changing. A lot is going on internally. A lot is happening to you right now. Damn, Sag. It's a deep reading. I feel like I need to sit down with somebody one-on-one -on -one in a Sagittarius collective. You going through a lot. Or your person is. Anyways. It's January. 111 to be exact. Time on a new moon. On a Thursday, expansion and growth. Listen, you got it, Sag. Higher self, spirit guides, new beginnings, new cycle, new direction, freedom. You're gonna be all right with all with the cards here. Just gotta push through. King of Swords. This is love. You really gotta love to learn to love yourself. King of Swords. This King of Swords is clarified with a whole lot of lust and confusion. Shit. Passion, lust, anger, attraction, vitality, action, night of wines. He needs to become more clear and logical about what he wants out of life. And he needs to stop being codependent. If this is not him and this is you on him, then you need to pull back. And begin to get comfortable in your own skin. Learn to love thyself. Not seeing clearly escapism. Addictions. Okay. Well, some of y'all have been addicts before. Multiple scenarios. Some of you may be selling to addicts. Okay. Because I got addictions twice. I ain't gonna fucking ignore it. Addictions. Addictions. Where is it at? I'm looking backwards. Addictions. Addictions. Codependency. Toxicity. Illusions. illusions illusions twice what is an illusion when you ain't seeing it clearly when you got rose tinted glasses on when you hoping for the best when you higher than a motherfucking kite high yourself okay some of y'all are maybe you've already overcome this maybe i'm reading someone's past right you used to be an addict now you're beating yourself up you lost a lot of time that's okay that's okay, because you're going to continue to push forward. Strength. What's this king of souls? Nurture, compassion, love, sincere feelings. Wants to take care of you, protective. This is someone from your past or past life. Lover, a past relationship, if not life. Longing, abandoned, divorce. Some of you are going through a divorce. Broken dreams and you didn't get what you expected out of this connection. Wasted a lot of time. Gave a lot of energy and effort. Heartbreak, grief. Some of y'all are missing someone. Some of you are missing the old you. Um, now, this king of swords, I feel like needs to be clear, more logical about what it is that he wants. Yes. 
But I feel like for some of you, he, he does know what he wants. And it's you sexually, very much so. And he wants to provide for you. Some of you could be guarded towards this particular individual. Some of you need to wait till this man is single and available. Some of you don't like dating older men. Some of you men have gone through a lot. You see someone you would like to be with, yet you keep giving them cold shoulder and hard dick. Hmm? Night of Wands. You halfway in. What is this King of Swords challenge? His past. Suffering. Past is affecting the present. Lack, betrayal, victim, let the past go. Self-care, that's where it fell. Then he needs a divorce. Another challenge, taking action, expansion, growth, pursuing passions, adventures, new opportunity, and fortune. Taking action. Being assertive. Or being too assertive with this Knight of Wands and lust energy. So, this King of Swords needs to get level-headed about what he wants and accepting and moving forward from his past. Accepting his past and moving forward from it. For a while, some of you women need to allow this man the space to do that. Yeah, you could have high expectations for this person. Or maybe they did a number on you. Y'all could be spiritually connected, so both of y'all have some traumas. Uh -huh. What's the four of wands? A twin. No, it is. Summer, growth, activity, goals, progress, life force, energy, new patterns. I got a whole lot of newness. New opportunities, new patterns, uh, new cycle, new direction, Shit. new intentions. What's this for a while? Something happened this summer. Closed off, resistant, guarded, blocking, pride, defensive, wounded, warrior. Someone's hurt. Someone's in a relationship where they're closed off or someone has a relationship so they begin to close themselves off from you. It started this summer or maybe they want to become less closed off and less in their ego. One more for a for Sagittarius. Right. Ego, damn. <laughs> Status quo, Leo energy, appearances matter with the six of wands. Mm. Bound to expectations or approval of others. Pride. This man is married for some of y'all, or you are for you masculine energies. And uh, yeah, he wants to be somewhere else, but um, yeah, he is having a hard time. Um, yeah, closing that out. Justice. He's afraid. Of what will happen or wherever he is trying to go, wanting to go, if that will work out for him. And for some of you divine counterparts to this king of swords, ego, mind, vanity, man here, masculine here. They stressing you to fuck out. I feel like spiritually for a lot of you, y'all missing each other. Six of cups, nostalgia. Well... Do not become codependent on alcohol, drugs, or sexual partners. Continue to work on yourself. Belief systems is one of his major factors, though. Mm -hmm. What else for this four of wands? I thought I was done. I'm not. Until, okay, thank you. Until dead, tear us apart. Libra energy with karma and justice. Let go. All right, that was my closing. Learning or learned yeah learning karmic lessons weighing things out cause and effect this this was our first card wants to make things right choices letting go death card endings resilience transformation so sagittarius you or your person are going to have to complete close fulfill lessons cycles relationships whatever it is in order for this to come together you're gonna have to get focused on your own path learn to love thyself learn to be in thy own bubble learn to explore the world on your own take care of what you need to take care of whatever this is however this has hurt you whatever traumas you have experienced it has already happened really not much you can do about things that have already happened but heal from them and see how many more things can you accomplish in this day in life this is your read. Until next time, peace.